Hi, I'm Rich. Hi, I'm Ruthie. Hi, I'm Dawn. And we're all part of Ruthie Cox's care group. We meet every Wednesday night in Central Point. The main focus of our care group is to encourage one another, pray for one another, teach the Word of God, and to find new friends that want to join us. And it's just an awesome time. Um, sometimes my work makes it so that I can't go. And my whole week is just out of sorts when I haven't made it to my care group and been with my friends and new family. We'd really encourage you to join a care group if you're not going to one now. And if you need a care group, please keep this I'm in I'm Christine. Mind. And I'm Nina. I'm Naomi. And I'm George. Welcome to our care group. We meet every every Tuesday nights, and it's just a blast just to be able to, to come around and, and to visit with with our uh, with our friends from church. It's a great way to get to know people better, and uh, it's awesome. Totally great. Particularly awesome for us. What did you guys all do for us last weekend? Painting Jason's grandma's house. <laughs> and then actually, we should be the painting care group because. Didn't I come over and help you guys paint your stuff? Yes, you and did. then and then Naomi came and helped me paint my bedroom. <laughs> and then you guys went and helped Jason paint his grandma's house. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Well, my favorite thing about care group is that I'm kind of people phobic. I know that you would not know that, but um, it's hard for me to talk to people and to be around people. And so yes, it's wonderful having a group of people that you look forward to every week to come into your home. And um, it is. You guys are my most favorite people, I think, on the planet, so I must say. I really love our care group because they're really friendly and they really care about each other and um, we have a great time. And sometimes I don't always get to go, but they call or text me and, you know, ask me how things are. Or someone will call and ask me what kind of prayer or praise. And so even though you may not go all the time, there's somebody always looking out for you. One of my favorite things is I probably would not have met the people at our church, or as many people as through our church without care group. I have all my friends from church I met through care group through Christine. So um, yeah, it just it's definitely an eye opener, and it definitely helps keep you connected in tough times and even times of joy. So join a care group today, Crystal Lines, and we lead a care group in South Medford. I think for me it's um, the sense of community that uh, we, I love getting together weekly, doing the Bible study, but more than that, the fellowship, the um, having a meal together, um, having people over for dinner, um, and meeting not just that once a week, but being able to have phone calls Hello. and check in. Hello. Oh, and who's that? <laughs> this is Jayla. <laughs> well, it's been really uplifting, I guess is a good word. Uh, in the last couple of years, several people in our care group have been baptized, and that's just, you know, powerful to see. <laughs> <laughs> Sound effects done by the children. <laughs> it, it really brings the purpose of the church alive, the sharing Jesus, the, the bringing people to Jesus one person at a time. It, I mean, that's what it's all about. Um, inviting coworkers, telling people about care group, uh, holding hostage my uh, hairdresser or my the lady that cuts my hair and telling them about uh, care group that's what it's about for me and it, and it constantly makes me think of the church think of my relationship and and inspires me to grow I'm Theron Logan and Shelley. this is Shelly right. I think it goes back to the overall depth that you get when you when you're in a care group you know, going to church every Sunday is one thing, but actually being able to to get involved in the Word and, and go beyond just the text and try and figure out what Jesus is teaching us, uh, that's been the main benefactor for us, is being able to, to grow and learn what the Word has to tell us. How to apply the Bible to daily life. Discipling to people and loving people and being in a group of friends and so. Oh, overall attitude probably, and the way I approach life in general. Uh, learning more about Jesus has kind of connected me to a spiritual side of me that I didn't know I had. It's changed me, you know, 180 degrees from the person I was before. Just the way I approach people, talk to people about Jesus, disciple others. I mean, that's been 
the biggest change is just how I treat others. Um, good relationships we have. You know, we've, we've met a lot of new friends that we didn't have before. People that we knew that we weren't connected with. Um, just people that are willing to be there to listen, to help, you know, when we need help. Um, and the same goes for them. We're willing to be there for them. So it's just kind of like a, it's like a family, really. It's what it's turned into, you know. We've grown really close with a lot of people in the group, so. I know, I look forward to Wednesday. I'm Nick, and this is my wife, Christy Leonardo. <laughs> we are apprentice leaders of a care group, we've been told. <laughs> and we kind of have what is being called a care group, but it's kind of a closed care group of some young married people. Um, you know, I, like, I love the personal relationships and being able to meet with someone um, throughout the week, not just on Sunday. And myself, especially being held accountable for things um, in a Christian walk that are sometimes hard for people, you know, um, taking care of my kids, being nice to my husband, um, you know, continuing our vision and our goal of leading people to Jesus one person at a time. And just, it gives me a midweek um, power booster. You know, it just, I suppose the testimony as well um, as just saying, hey, I know it's really hard right now or it seems that something's bothering you. Um, do you want to come hang out? And I suppose befriending them as a person one-on-one -on -one is um, really great. And then introducing them to the care group. Okay. Um, before the care group, we were kind of just go to church on Sunday. At least I was sitting so here, that's good enough type of deal. Then once we started in the care group, it kind of pushed me to read my Bible more and learn more so I kind of knew what was going on when we went to the care group and then that just grew into wanting to learn more and doing more and then just, I don't know, knowing Jesus more, allowing me to open up more to new people and making lots of new friends and really good friends. I would feed them. That's what I would do to someone who doesn't know God and would like, I would feed them. That, that's where it is for me. One-on-one -on -one coffee and pie. <laughs>